Hi, my name is Corey Lawson with Sensor Dynamics, and I've been living your life for over 40 years. I know the trials, I know the tribulations, and I know how difficult it can be. And today, I want to show you something that changed my life, and I know that it will change yours. We're going to be installing a self-serve pressure sensor that my son developed and patented that literally installs on the pump rack right where the gauge goes. Now, this sensor is going to notify you instantly if there is any problem with that self-serve bay. It will catch 100% of all malfunctions on the self-serve bay, with the exception of the jam coin neck. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Logan. He's the owner and founder and inventor of all this, and he's going to explain to you how it works and show you how easy it is to install. Hi, this is Logan, and we're going to be going over the installation of a self-serve pressure sensor today. Clean right part number PSA. So before we start going, let's go over some quick tips. As always, every sensor dynamic sensor requires one specific Wi-Fi network. And as a company, we recommend these Ubiquiti AC mesh access points. They're great for your car wash because they're waterproof. And with that, let's get going on the installation. To start off with, we're gonna install the supplied quarter inch MPT self-serve pressure transmitter. You can either tee it into your pressure line or you can replace the mechanical gauge. Completely personal preference. In this situation, we're gonna install it where the mechanical gauge is for ease of install. So let's get started. Now that we've got the pressure transmitter installed, replacing the mechanical gauge, we're gonna take the plug, unplug it right into the pressure transmitter, and then all we have to do is finish up wiring the rest of the sensor. Each sensor comes with a 110 power plug. These are great if you only have a couple bays, but to simplify installations on larger locations, you can take this, cut it off, and wire it directly into the electrical that runs your motors for the pumps. And then these white and black wire, these go to the signal wires or the switch wires that run your coil or your motor starter. So let's get going. Moving on to the next step in the wiring, you go to your control box, you figure out roughly where you want the sensor, you put it, somewhere that it'll hold it just temporarily. And then in this situation, we have drilled and put a 3 8 Romax connector in and also pre-stripped the power wires and took the plug off. Because we're gonna be wiring it into the top end of the contactor, the three-phase 110 that runs the motor for the pumps. And from with that, we're going to route the wires through the Romax and start walking through where you wanna wire these in and also the switch wires or the contact wires for the white and black. Now that we've got the wires running through the Romax connector, before we go any further, we wanna confirm the electrical for any type of contactor or motor starter. Now, your control box may look a little different, so it's gonna be up to you to determine what you need to do, but a voltage meter is definitely your friend. So, from, there, from um, earlier, we were able to test that all of these are 110 or 120. That is our ground for our AC um, common and then in the back here is our 24 volt hot and common for the switch of the motor starter or coil and so we're going to take the wires and wire up to them directly. Now that we got all the wiring finished up and wrapped up um, I just want to note that before we did any of the wiring into the terminals we turned the breaker off so that all the electricity was dead going to this contactor. So we started off with the black coming out of the power cable going into the one of the 110 power legs for the motor. And then we have the white and green going to the AC ground or common on the, on the ground lug of the control panel. With, from there, we have the black and white wires for the coil switch or signal wire. The black going to the 24 volt hot for the coil or motor starter and the white going to the 24 volt common for the coil or motor starter. And with that, once all those wires are in their place, now keep in mind that um, your application may be a little different because they, there are numerous amounts of coils or motor starters out there in the world. And the way I installed it for this one, while technically and conceptually it is all the same, um, the application may be a little different. So you're going to need to reference and research your coil or your motor starter to figure out what you need to do to make sure that you install it in the right way. Or um, if you have a technician that normally helps you out, maybe you need to reference him for guidance. With the wiring all done, we can now turn the breaker on and turn the sensor on. 
Now that the blue light is lit, we know that the sensor has power and we can go through the registration process. Um, using the information on the very back of the sensor, we have the serial number and the registration code. We can add the device on the app. Success. And now we can go through and program the customizable thresholds for your application. Now with the sensor installed, we come out to the bay and use the sensor to read the pressure of the pump. Turn on the high pressure cycle. The sensor will read the pressure and send the data to the app in a few seconds. Once your app lights up with the data, turn off the cycle and you use that data to adjust your upper and lower thresholds. Now these thresholds are used for your instant notifications. If the data surpasses your upper or lower threshold, you'll get a notification. So an upper threshold is used for a plug tip or even a frozen tip in the winter. And your lower thresholds, that's your primary threshold. That's a cracked fitting, a blown hose, any type of mechanical failure. Whether the thermal overload has tripped on your contactor and your pump doesn't run, that the sensor will pick it up. Now, with all that information, you have your tailored, customizable upper and lower thresholds for your instant notifications. At any time, you can go in and retailor those, those thresholds through the app. Thank you for tuning in for the installation of the pressure sensor for a self-survey. If you have any questions, contact us at Sensor Dynamics. This is Logan Lawson, and this is Clean Right Part Number PSA. Have a great day.